Yo, what's going on, guys? Jaden here, bringing back a brand new video. And actually, today I'm not on my channel. I'm on TJ's channel. So thank you, TJ's, for letting me be on your channel. And let's get into it. Also, guys, I just wanted to say that um, not all these shoes are in my personal collection. I do resell. Um, I was inspired by JC to resell and like start my own business. I do have this uh, clothing company called Timeline. And that's sort of like my own business and how I make money uh, as a kid under 16. And I resell sneakers and Supreme, so yeah, that's why uh, it might look like I have a huge collection. It's just a lot of it is going to be like, a lot of it is like what I'm reselling right now. So yeah. Alright guys, for the first shoe, it is these uh, Jordan 1 Gold Toes. I got one pair of these in a size 10 and a half. A really nice shoe. I was considering keeping them, but... I think they're gonna go up in price, so I'm not. I'm gonna keep them for a while and then uh, try to sell them later on because I think the shoe will go up in price, just because it is such a good-looking shoe. But let's get into the next one. All right, guys, for the next shoe, it is the EQT uh, Support 9317s. They are in like the white OG colorway. I've worn these a lot. Super nice shoe and it's really comfortable. So if you guys need a shoe that's just really comfortable and like under a hundred dollars. I definitely recommend these. Alright guys, for the next shoe, it is the Ultra Boosts. Um, these are the 4.0s in the triple white colorway. I did actually just sell these, so I gotta ship these out soon, but I just thought I'd throw them in this video. There are the triple whites. Pretty classic shoe. Um, like, I don't know. Classic for like the modern era or whatever. Uh, the 1.0s are like the originals and those are amazing. And these uh, have the black bottom like the 1.0s do. So I thought I'd pick them up because I really like the 1.0s because there's a lot of hype around them. So that's the Ultra Boost 4.0 Triple White. All right, guys, for the next shoe, it is the SNS Ultra Boosts. Now, these are a very uh, nice shoe, like just simple. Not much to say about them, just black, white, and gray. Just Ultra Boosts. I think these are the 2.0s or the 3.0s. I'm not sure because the pattern is different on these rather than any other like Ultra Boost model. So I'm actually not sure what these are. I think they're the 2.0s. But yeah, not much to say about them. Let's get into the next shoe. All right, guys, for the next shoe, it is this Jordan 1 in this custom colorway that's black and gold. It originally was the Laser. Um, these are up for sale right now. Um, I have these up for sale. Not much to say about them, just cool custom that I thought I could flip, so I bought them. All right, guys, the next shoe, it is the Jordan 5 Grape. And uh, these shoes are pretty special to me because when I was younger, I did have a pair of these in like a little kid size. And I played basketball in them and did everything in them. And I just love these shoes. Excuse me. Um, yeah, just that sentimental uh, thing for me. I've had a few pairs of these, but these are dead stock. Jordan 5 Grapes. I am selling them. They're just, I'm waiting for them to retro uh, like another pair because these came out in 2013. But let's move on to the next shoe. Alright guys, for the next shoe, it is a shoe that actually like sort of got me into reselling. It is the Kobe 10 uh, What The in the high. Um, now, how these got me into reselling, um, I was at a Nike outlet one day, or my local Nike outlet, and they had like a whole size run of these. And at the time, they were going for like two or three hundred. And they had them for like, I think a hundred and fifty or so. And I bought a bunch of pairs and resold them all. And... I just sort of got into collecting, or not collecting, but reselling that way. I was already into collecting, but once I was able to, like, realize that I could make some profit off of this, I decided that maybe I should get into it. But yeah, that's the Kobe 10 What The. Alright guys, for the next shoe, it is a shoe that recently did come out. It is the Jordan 1 uh, Gatorade in the orange peel colorway. I do have a personal pair of these myself, but... I got these from a Nike outlet for a steal. Let me show you guys the box. Um, it was $94.99. And then there was also 20% off. And it was like a few weeks after they came out. So that was just a crazy steal. Um, I'm still trying to resell them. So if you guys are interested, definitely hit me up. That's the Jordan 1 Gatorade. Alright guys, for the next shoe that I am reselling, or the last shoe actually, they are one of 50. There's only 50 in the world to what I know. They are the Fear of God Maxfields. And the reason they look so small is because they're size 4. And they're pretty hard to move. So if anyone wants them and is a size 4, 
in men's, five and a half in women's. Definitely hit me up. Um, I'm trying to get rid of these, and I'm willing to give you them for retail. So, yeah, definitely hit me up. All right, guys, so now we're getting into my personal collection. I'm going to show you guys these first few shoes really quickly because they are Vans. Um, first one up, it's like this, like, it looks like the Gucci, uh, Gucci A sneakers to me. So I really like these. Instead of the stripes, they have the checkerboard. Just a classic pair of Vans. Next shoe, uh, these are actually a custom I made. I have the, I'll show you guys those in a little bit. I don't want to spoil it. But I do have the off-white laces on them. And then the off-white little branding there. And I'm going to put Vans right here and right here. But I haven't done that yet. But it's a cool little custom I had done. And then I got these uh, Golden Coast Vans. These are actually pretty new. The rose embroidery with the checkered and then the checkered on the side. And they're all cream. I really like those. And then I got two of these skate highs. One in blue, one in gray. Pretty dope. I like the Vans a lot. They are just a really easy shoe to wear, and I wear them all the time, so I definitely had to have a few pairs of Vans in my collection. All right, guys, so uh, now we're going to do the Adidas uh, part of my collection, and they are all in these drop fronts pretty much. First shoe up is the Yeezy Calabasas in the gray colorway. I really do like these. Um, they're just simple, and... They almost look like Vans, but they got that hype around them, so I really do like these Yeezy Calabasas. Alright guys, for the next shoe, it is the Yeezy 350 Boost V2 in the Beluga 2.0 colorway. Now, these are my one of my favorite uh, colorways for the V2 line, and I think they should definitely resell for more, but since they produce so many of these, they don't. Um, yeah, let's get into some other V2s. Alright guys, for the next shoe, it is the Yeezy 350 Boost V2 in the Zebra colorway. Now these are probably um, my favorite uh, Yeezy V2, and probably Yeezy in general, that's Adidas. Just because it's such a nice colorway and you can wear it with almost anything. And I used to not like them, and now they're my favorite, so it's sort of a funny story. But yeah, just the Zebra. Really happy that they came out with them a second time, because I was able to get my hands on them. And I have worn these quite a bit. Alright guys, for the next V2, it is the Olive Stripe. Um, I actually got these through a trade with my barber, so shout out to him. But yeah, I just really like these. They go with almost anything. And if you can't tell already, I do like the V2 model a lot. But yeah, just the Olive Stripe, nothing much to say about them. Let's get into the next shoe. Alright guys, for the next shoe, it is my favorite shoe in my collection. And it is the last Adidas shoe. It is the Yeezy uh, Calabasas in the OG colorway. Now, the reason these are my favorite is because you can wear them almost every day. Like, I find it hard not to wear them every day because they're just, they just go with everything. And I really like these. Just the cream colorway. Let's get into the next shoe. Alright, guys, for the next shoe, it is the Air Force One Low in the white colorway. The G Fazos, as some people like to call them. I actually got these for way under retail. I got them for $40 at a Nike clearance store. They just had them sitting there, and I had to pick them up because. These are just a classic Air Force Ones in the white colorway. Let's get into the next shoe. Alright guys, for the next shoe, it actually is two shoes in one, but I wear them together. And it is the Jordan 1 Gatorade, the orange one, and the purple one. And the reason I wear them together is because I just think it's cool. It's sort of like a what the type theme. And I just really like these together. Um, one's orange, one's purple. Purple's my favorite color, and it had the orange hints on it, so I decided to get the orange and wear it with it. But yeah, that's the Jordan 1 Gatorades. Alright guys, for the next shoe, I actually am wearing them right now. It is the Jordan 3 Black Cement. Now these are a classic. Um, I had to cop these. I got really lucky on them. And I'm just really happy to have them in my collection. So the, I haven't had a pair before. And uh, ever since I've gotten into collecting, I've always uh, really wanted these. So I'm really glad I have them now. Alright guys, for the next shoe... It is another three. It is the Jordan 3 True Blue. And these are just a classic, um, as well as the Black Cements. They go hand in hand. Um, they're sort of like the USA theme. I do really like these, and just can't go wrong with them. All right, guys, for the next shoe, it is a Jordan 4, and that is the Jordan 4 Pure Money. Now, I do really like these. I think these are really underrated because, like... Honestly, if you look at four colorways, these are one of the nicest fours that have come out ever. 
And I think you gotta love these if you like fours, so. Just the all white fours with the silver accents. Really like these. All right guys, for the next shoe, it is the Jordan 1 New Love. Just that yellow and black. Just looks really nice on a Jordan 1 mid. I think if they came out with these in a high version, they would sell it instantly and have a bunch of resell, but I think they are actually coming out with a yellow and black one uh, in the future, so stay tuned for those. I'm going to definitely have to get those because I love these, but I like the high version of the Jordan 1 more. As for the next shoe, it is the Jordan 1 Bread. Now, I'm not going to say anything about these because they speak for themselves. Yeah, Jordan 1 Bread. Alright guys, for the next shoe, it is the most hyped shoe in my collection. It is the Air Max 90 Off-White. Now, I love these. I actually got these for Christmas, and I'm really happy I did because they are one of my favorite shoes in my collection. But yeah guys, that's going to wrap up this video. If you did enjoy, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to 2Js and my channel. It would mean a lot because I have just started YouTube about three months ago, and I'm just trying to grow as much as I can. So definitely check me out, Jaden Hall, and I'm out. Peace.